mentioned credit, uh, venture, private equity, hedge funds. Uh, this is uh, on, on our topic of the day. Uh, perhaps you could start us off with a few observations of uh, where you have seen uh, the, the private uh, investment marketplace going over the last year in relation to some of those uh, yeah. subsectors. Sure. So as you know, 2023 was very bitter in private equity, private markets. It has to do with geopolitical risks and the uncertainty and the uh, high interest rate made the exit markets very bad. Um, and uh, that has led that VCs disappointed the investors and they backed off a bit. Uh, this asset class um, we love very much, but it's very high risk and high volatility, as you know. And um, especially smaller managers suffered a lot below 500 million target size. They rose, not, they haven't, many of them uh, weren't able to finish the fundraising targets. Whereas other asset classes, uh, credit remain quite stable. There is a lot of appetite for um, liquid funds, so hedge funds uh, got lots of uh, attention, secondaries as well, because it's a very good liquidity creator in many funds. So, yeah, uh, we see um, I, the, the expectations are now that the second half year 2024, the markets will be back in private equity as they were before 2022. But uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to see that. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, it will be it will be good to have a um, increased positive momentum in some of these markets. We've been seeing this, uh, for example, in the the blockchain and crypto, the digital asset space of uh, an increasing momentum towards uh, towards kind of a, a return to uh, to that more let's say uh, sustainable growth of of the markets in in, in years prior to COVID. Uh, and I, I agree that uh, the latter half of 2024, I mean, coming from the perspective of uh, the digital asset space in particular, a lot of the experts in the space are predicting uh, major waves uh, in, in the latter part of this year.